Hi, I'm Mike Kuchar, Senior Researcher at XNOLabs.com. We hope you enjoyed our first presentation on how to defeat run blocks, more specifically from a defensive line standpoint. In order to follow that up, we've asked our researcher, Mickey Mays, who has 30 years of football coaching experience, to take you through the process of how to defeat pass blocks, and more importantly, how to get home and get to the quarterback. Because we all know as defensive coaches, that's what's most important. Coach Mays is going to talk you through his pass rush techniques, and more importantly, what you provided us based on your surveys, okay, your responses, and our research reports. We've compiled hundreds and hundreds of, uh, of facts and numbers and hours of data to put this into a presentation for you, our viewers, to show you the best way that you know how to defeat pass box and more importantly, get to the quarterback. So without further ado, let's stop talking ball. Let's turn it over to Coach Mace. who will take you through those progressions. Hello, I'm Mickey Mays, researcher with X and O Labs, and during the next hour, we're going to discuss pass rush. A pass rush has never been more important than it is today in today's football game, including high school, with spread offenses, one back, multiple receivers. We have to learn how to rush the passer. Some of the problems that our survey responders uh, pointed out, uh, number one is the get off. Uh, how can we go from on first and 10 from a run mentality to a get off and rush the passer? Uh, number two was the use of hands. How can we de better develop uh, the use of hands, uh, knocking down the wrist, elbow, working the shoulder? And the third is contain. You know, we must contain the quarterback. We must be disciplined in our pass rush lanes. Uh, we intend to uh, look at different ways to rush the passer, uh, different ways coaches uh, develop pass rushers, and we want to help you in some way improve uh, your pass rush. The most important part of pass rush, according to our research, is the get off, quick feet in the get off. And we have to develop a get off. The most commonly taught stance by coaches is going to be a toe to heel stagger. So we're going to, we're going to, these two guys are going to demonstrate first, and we're going to uh, demonstrate a five yard get off drill. And these are the points. He's never played defense, he's never played defensive line. He might be a pass rusher this year. Toe to heel will narrow our base a little bit with a pass rush stance. Both you guys get into it. Okay. Our down hand, right hand is below the right eye. Our hips are going to be slightly higher than our hat. The weight is going to be on the fingertips and the ball of the front foot so we can drive off. Now, th this is really good right here. Is the down hand or the, the back foot should be, that thigh is straight up and down and the other knee is right below the bottom of the number. This, this is a great looking stance here. Right, guys, stand up a second, stand up a second. And here is the second thing that we must develop is getting off on movement. So whether you have a stick ball, whether you use your foot, some kind of movement, and from a side angle camera, when you slow motion this, uh, even you know in the big leagues, is you can see how long it takes for guys to get off on movement of the football. This can be improved. This can be developed. This is the most important part of pass rush. Uh, let, let's let's demonstrate this. We're trying to get as big of a first step as we can get. Set. Good. Good forward lean. All right. Let's go. The next three. We, we can fit three of you in there. Scoot in a lot. Good. Big first step. Now, big first step. Set. Right, good job, Big Mike. I believe jog it back. And we'll get another rep. Now, on our first step, right, Chad, go ahead and line down. On our first step, 
is we're going to drive as we uh, drive off the front foot is this elbow is going to come by the hilt and we want to leave it 90 degree. Our up hand and the best place to put it is on the thigh is that'll come up into a handshaking position. So we're 90 with the elbow, handshaking position, biggest first step we can get. All right, let's get one more round on this and really drive off of it, guys. Concentrate on movement. We're going silent count. Sit. Great job, both of you. Sit. This is the start for a pass rusher, for rushing the passer, a drill that you need to work every day, in season, off season. The next area of concern in the pass rush is the use of hands. We're going to demonstrate what we call a pressure point drill that can be done every day, in season, off season, to help develop quick hands, attack the pressure points, the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder. So guys, let's partner up. And let's, play, let's get right here, right there. Now, the first drill is going to be uh, chop. We're going to chop the wrist. Go ahead and fit him up. So we're going to chop with the inside hand the wrist, and we're going to form a hook with it. We're going to punch the elbow with the outside hand, and we're going to stab the shoulder. So these are the three pressure points, wrist, and we're going to be slightly above the wrist on the fat part of that forearm break down the elbow and the shoulder. All right, let's get that drill going. Will the, you guys get it going, I'll get out of the way. And we'll keep it going. Good, slow it down at first, good. Great job here. Chop, punch, stab, break it down, pressure points. Good, start slow, bend your knees a little bit, guys. Bend your knees a little bit. This is a great job by Mike. Keep working it, guys. Keep working it. And you can see we can get a ton of reps in here every day. We can do this in the weight room. We can do this, you know, after math class. But we're developing quick hands uh, in this pressure point drill. Okay, stop the drill. Now, the next thing, uh, part of the drill, is instead of the chop, go ahead and, go ahead and fit him up. Instead of the chop, with, we're going to cut and come underneath. So the hand should be facing the eyes, and we're going to knock the wrist off. We're going to punch, and we're going to stab. Let's get that. Let's get that one working. Not on you. Not on you. Start it slow, and then we can speed it up. We're, we're looking for quality reps. Bend your knees. Little knee bend, guys. Little knee bend. Always bend your knees. Uh, good. Hit your targets. Hit your targets. Good. Hit your tar. That's it. Good. Keep it. Get it going. Get it going. Get it going. Get them moving. Get them moving. Bunch of reps. And you can see we can get a lot of reps in one minute. common problem, especially on a run down or first and ten, is the defensive lineman stalling in his stance versus a pass set. So one good drill for this is we call it target practice. The three technique or the outside shade is going to line down in his stance, foot to crotch, and we're going to power step. The offensive lineman is going to give us a pass step. Now, the offensive lineman set, regardless of his alignment, is his goal is going to be, if he's man blocking him, his goal is going to be to get his outside foot right down the crotch of that pass rusher. So 
widen out just a little bit, Aaron, and we're gonna make him move his we're gonna make him move his feet a little bit. So Mike is gonna set foot right down the, the middle. His targets are eyes to the armpit, inside hand down the middle, outside hand to the outside shoulder. What that does is it takes him out of the middle on his rush and it puts him half a man and he'll finish with a rip. He'll finish this with a rip. Uh, let, let's demonstrate that. Now we're going on movement, two point stance. We're going to key his foot or his knee. And there's the movement. Set. A rip, rip, good. Get your toe turned, good. The other part about developing quick hands is the offensive lineman's high jam to the face mask. So this drill, and we call it forklift drill, one offensive player, one defensive player, and we're going to bend the knees, bend the knees guys, and then we're going to try to jam him. Offensive player is going to carry his hands right under his chin, and he's going to try to jam that face mask. And the defensive man is going to forklift that high jam and get it up. I go ahead and work it, guys. Let's demonstrate it. Good here. Good here. Good here. Good. Uh, now, now clamp down on those wrists. Okay. Yeah. Go, go, yeah. Go, go, go ahead and when you forklift that thing, is keep it up. Okay. okay. Keep it up. Is keep it up. Keep it up, okay? Now, I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate what the offensive guy is gonna do. You guys watch this. Bend your knees a little bit, because this is what we want, is I'm gonna try to jam his face mask, okay? Now, I want you to grab my wrist. Grab them underneath. Good, good. Okay, good, right, now, let's go 10, ten more seconds. 10 more seconds. Yeah, be quick with it. Be quick with it. Okay, good. Good job right there. Power rip is the first pass rush drill that some coaches teach because it's a great rush on first and ten. It's also a great rush on third and ten. The drill begins. We're going to fit up, back it up just a little bit, guys. Aaron is the three technique. Mike is the offensive guard. So the fit is outside eyes to the armpit, outside hand to the outside shoulder, inside hand down the middle to the inside number. I've got leverage already. I'm working half a man. The goal on this is to get his shoulder turned. Once I get that rusher's shoulder turned, then I can throw the rip. All right, let's demonstrate this, guys. Sit, drive it, rip. I throw the rip. Now finish with that rip. And when we throw the rip on this drill, the first thing we're trying to do is get his shoulder turned. Once we get that shoulder turned, now we can throw the rip. He can't stop the rip. When we throw the rip, we're trying to rip with our bicep right underneath his armpit. We're trying to get that tight to it, get our toe pointed to the quarterback, and turn the corner. Right, let's see that again. This is power rip drill, fit drill. Set. Drive it, drive it, rip. Right, good. Rip and finish. Let's get it one more time. One more time. Great job. Give us a good kick. And slide, Mike. Sit. Drive it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. All right, good job. The chop rip drill is the first drill that we're going to work off of speed rush with the goal. On our third step, we want to chop the outside arm of the offensive tackle, sink the hips, throw the rip, and turn into the quarterback. 
and we'll go off movement. Chad's going to demonstrate this. Great pass rush stance. Toe to heel. Big first step. Sit. All right, good. All right, let's, do, let's go again. That was a pretty good job for the first time. And we want to really, we want to really sink our hips and scrape the ground, grab grass as we, as we rip. Good forward lean. Sit. All right, good. We're going to follow this up with, uh, just like in our pressure point drill, with a chop and a punch. So we're going to chop with our inside hand. We're going to punch, which will turn our hips. With our outside hand, we're going to punch the elbow, just above the elbow, and then we'll rip. All right, let's get that. Let's get two reps on this one. Now, big first step, really keep your chest down. Coming low. Set. All right, good. One more time. Get a punch. Now get a punch. Get a punch. Sit. All right. Let's get one more time on that. Widen out just a, widen out just a, just a, just a step. Okay, you're good there. Now don't think about your feet this time, Chad. Is get off the ball and run. Don't try to, if you hit him, if you don't chop on your third step, that's fine. Just let's get off that football. Get off the ball. See the ball. Sit. All right, good job right there. The chop rip is going to attack the wrist. The chop punch is going to attack the wrist, the elbow, and any time we throw the rip, our aiming point is bicep to the armpit. If his shoulder's turned, it may be bicep to the elbow. Fifty-five percent of the coaches surveyed favor speed rushes over power rushes and counter. The last speed rush we're going to look at is a skate move, a clamp skate, snatch skate, people call it different things, but we're going to attack, the defensive end is going to attack the outside half, and this is off of a speed move of the offensive tackle. That offensive tackle gives him his shoulder, outside foot, outside hand, we're going to clamp onto that pad, jerk, drop step, and then rip right off of his hip to the quarterback. Great job. All right, let's get that. Let's start off just from a two-point, and then we're going to go from a three-point. Sit. Okay. And you're going on his movement. Let's go one more time from a two-point. Sit. Good. Now, let's go from a three-point. Now, just the, coach, the, the thing to remember is clamp and jerk, and then try to drop step. And this is the first time he's done this move, but he's going to be pretty, he might use it all year. All right, let's get it. Sit. Clap it, clap it. Okay, try to drop step. Let's get it one more time. Try to drop step. I'm stepping outside hand, outside foot, and then try to drop step that thing around there, okay? All right, here we go. Sit. Grab, clap. Good right there. Good job. This this rush, club rip, a punch rip, but we're going to set this up off the power move. And by that, this is what we mean for a three technique, for a five technique, is Mike is going to be foot to crotch. Now Edwin is the guard. Back it up. No, you're good. You're good. You put your toes on my heel. Okay. Now you line up off sides on your side of the line. Back it up a little bit. Right there. Now the first step is we're going to sell the power rush. 
foot to Christ. This could be on first and ten. This could be a drive block, reach, uh, reach block, cutoff block. So my first step is to the crotch. Eyes are low, and I and I'm uh, I've sold the power rush. His pads drop, and now I tack the outside elbow to the outside shoulder with my outside hand. And then my third step is uh, go ahead and step. First step, drop your shoulders. Second step wide. Now rip right through his armpit and finish it. Good. Uh, let's let's go ahead and get that out of a three-point stance. Okay, now all I want you to do is step right there and then you defend the bull rush. And I'll go we'll go on your movement after I say set. Sit. Oh, that's not bad. We gotta go full speed. And my first step's got to be where, Mike? Yeah, eyes under his armpit. Eyes under his armpit. Right now, it might be a double team. Okay, back it off just a little bit, Mike. Right, here we go. Let's get it again. Now, don't think about it. Work the move. Sit. Get off. Get off. Get off. Okay. Jab. Jab. And punch. Jab, punch. Inside hand, outside hand. All right, let's get it one more time. Good. All right. Now, what one of the keys here is on the punch is our second step is we want to get those hips flipped. Get the hips open, get the shoulders flipped so we can throw the rip underneath him. All right, let's get it one more time. Sit. On movement, on movement. I, I, that's a little bit better, a little bit better. We want to throw that rip tight, though. I throw the rip tight. So let's get it one more time. We're getting a little bit better every snout. Now, the big, the first thing we've got to do, and I know I'm talk, start talking loud on this. The first thing is what? It's to get off. So there's the trigger right there. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. We'll see you getting off now. Movement. Sit. All right. This next move is a club rip move that is set up by a power move. Now, this is what we mean by that. Go ahead, Aaron's gonna line down in a three-point stance and he's gonna power step with his inside foot and we get high hat his, and we're gonna walk through this. His first step is to the crotch of the guard. His second step is outside He's going to club the shoulder to elbow of the guard and then follow with a tight rip underneath the guard's armpit. So once again, before we work the drill, it's important that we set the blocker up. So we, to, to the guard, is we're selling power. We, we want to get, uh, dictate to him that he's going to dip his shoulders, he's going to dip his hat, and he's going to expose that outside shoulder, elbow. We're going to throw the club to the shoulder. If he's back a little bit, we can still punch the elbow, and then we're going to rip. First step to the crotch. Second step, we're going to gain outside leverage. And we'll go on the football. Sit. All right, again, first step to the crotch. First step to the crotch. This is a great pass rush move on first and ten because our first step is to the crotch, we may be getting double team. We may get a loose scoop, we may get a power scoop. First step to the crotch, set. All right, a little bit better, a little bit better. Now this time, uh, short and power step, that first step six inches, so the second step is outside leverage. Really gain outside leverage on the second step has gotta be quick. Sit. Right, good, good job. And that is the club rip, the club rip, or the punch rip. And the difference is we're going to club the shoulder, we're going to punch the elbow. Or we're going to clout the shoulder, we're going to chop the wrist, but we're working all the pressure points. X and O Labs would like to sincerely thank all the coaches that contributed to our reports. Uh, answered our surveys, asked questions, answered questions. Uh, 
We're going to go over three uh, questions that were specifically asked by coaches, by more than one coach, by a number of coaches in the pass rush game. Uh, number one being, how do we teach defensive linemen, specifically a defensive end versus a vertical set? So I'm going to bring Mike out. And by vertical set, you know, some of the spread teams, they're going to backpedal this tackle and backpedal the guard. I just like the old punt protection with the shoulder square. Or we're going to get a kick, slide, and then he's going to turn his shoulders and just shuffle up the field. So we're going to, the first thing we have to do against the vertical set is make that lineman set his feet. If he continues uh, on a vertical uh, path, then all we're going to do is power rush him into the quarterback. So we have to make him set his feet. Uh, if Mike is going to kick slide and, and he's going to demonstrate a vertical shuffle. All right. All right, go, Mike. Go. Shuffle. Now turn your shoulders. Turn your shoulders and shuffle straight up the field. Now this is the mistake that we often make, the defensive ends often make is the tackle is on a vertical shuffle up the field and he's just dancing and I'm he's he's got it easy there's no contact and all he's going to do is run me around the quarterback but once I read this set is I'm going to make him set his feet I'm going to turn on him and go ahead and turn your shoulders Mike if I can he's already opened the gate so if I can beat him past the hip all I need to do is throw a rip He's taking this shoulder away, so there's no club. He's taking this wrist away, there's not going to be a chop. He's taking that elbow away, there's not going to be a punch, but he can still not stop the speed rip if I can get past that upfield hip. Go ahead and turn again. If, if I cannot get on the upfield hip, now I have to rush, the ins I have to uh, power rush that inside shoulder. He has, he has no power on his shuffle. I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have this. But I've got this. My aiming point is with my inside hand to the inside armpit. And that's one of our pressure points. I'm going to paralyze him, get up under him. I'm going to take him up the field, rip under to the quarterback. Now, this takes practice. Uh, it takes recognition, but I guarantee you, you can teach it to your defensive ends. The next question we had uh, concerned the jump set. We'll get this on three-step drop. So I'm going to bring uh, I'm going to bring Aaron out here. Now, what do we talk when we're talking jump set? Just from a two-point stance, Aaron. Is I'm a three technique. I'm a five technique. And this is almost like a reach block. Very aggressive, and he's trying to get two hands on me at the line of scrimmage and take away the inside move with his hip. The best thing, the best move I can use is outside hand with a quick clamp on that shoulder. Recognize it, and he, ju he jumps me, clamp, and beat him right there at the line of scrimmage. Beat him on the line. I've got to get my hand on him quick, um, or beat him inside. So with a vertical set, I'm going speed to rip, if I can beat the hip, speed to power on the inside shoulder. With a jump set, I'm going to use the outside hand on the outside shoulder, beat him at the line of scrimmage. The third question that was frequently asked by coaches in our surveys uh, concerned rush lanes, pass rush lanes, keeping contained on the quarterback. Uh, one important point is to make sure with a four-man rush that one tackle is responsible for the A gout. Uh, defenses get in trouble when both tackles rush B gaps and we open up the gut. Uh, quarterback pulls the ball and runs, scrambles right up the gut. So one tackle, whether it's a pass rush game, any kind of movement, regardless of the move, has to be responsible for that A gap. Uh, with the defensive ends, the most important point is to level off the rush when the end gets as deep as the quarterback. The ends, ends will get in trouble with a speed rush up the field and they try to run the hoop 
past 10 yards up the field. And we're opening up a lane inside the speed rush between the three technique or the tackle and the defensive end. In conclusion, the keys to pass rush are getting off the ball, using the hands, using leverage on the power rush, uh, and being able to know a counter off of each one. Uh, we hope that this research has helped you and you've learned something as a football coach, and we look forward to working with you in the future.